And Shalom Yash Allah, the peace be unto the nation of Israel, whom are modern day so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and Speckled Bird Israelites, whom are the Israelite foreigners scattered across the four corners of the earth, mainly within America, Babylon the Great. And uh, you are the most high, Yahweh's chosen people of the nation of Israel. All right, so without further ado, as always, just want to give all praises, glory, infinite honor to my power, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Bahashem, Hamashach, Yahweh, Baruch, Gurash, which is all praise to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. In the name of His only begotten and anointed Son, Hamashiach Yahushai, and Holy Spirit, whom is our strength and our Redeemer and our light and our salvation. With that, Mashana Kabawadim Lahasakwanim, Shalagalawabrakab, which is double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true shepherds of Israel, pushing the sound of action of faith, truth and sincerity, and Shalom, honor and salutations to Bayasha Dawada, all right, the elect governing body, all right, of the 144,000, and the rest of the one third elect men, women, and children, all right, of the one third of the nation of Israel. It's your fellow servant, Malak Rayab. She back at it again with another video through the spirit of prophecy, being the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahushai, um, and the spirit of prophecy, all right, of our Lord and Savior, Hamashiach Yahushai, who the master of the world, eagerly referred to with Jesus Christ. And it's another prophetic update, all right, of the judgment, all right, the, the plagues of, of the, the terrible judgment of Yahweh by Shem and Shai, not slacking, man. All right, in these last days, you know, due to a lack of fear in this world. Because fear of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem and Shai, is not taught by the rulers of the darkness of this world, but rather, um, you know, self-gratification within this world. Um, you know, YOLO, the yellow spirit, be all that you can be, you know, strive uh, strive for excellence within, you know, the the uh, the perception of, uh, you know, and standard of glory in this world, you know, predicated off of uh, so-called white supremacist um, influence. Okay, within within the vision of Ashashua's heart, the subclan white man, right? The brutish beast, all right, whom is the devil the Bible speaks of, by way of his wicked, vile, profane nature, how he established his world, you know, preceding Job nine and twenty four, Saint John ten and ten, Habakkuk two and five, and so forth. And this is why, you know, death is, you know, you know, um, you know, so rampant within the world, man. So what you see in this headline here. You know, uh, entitled Tornadoes Leave Trail of Devastation Across Six States with Scores Dead. Okay, to further go into these six, these, uh, six states as of Friday that was reported. It says, uh, Arkansas, Illinois, Kentucky, Missouri, Mississippi, and Tennessee were hit by tornadoes on Friday night. All right. You know, you know, and this, if that wasn't bad enough, you know, there's been, there, there, you know, uh, um, as, was, as was, was actually reported on Friday, you know, dealing with these tornadoes and, you know, the storms, you know, that, that uh, brought great devastation and death, okay, within those six states, at least those six states reported, including the death toll of at least 70 in Kentucky, which, you know, the governor down there uh, has issued a state of, uh, of emergency, declared a state of emergency, rather, you know, due to the death toll being around, uh, reportedly uh, uh, around 100, approximately, okay? You know, so uh, then they have, they, they, they've... Uh, after this, uh, declaring state of emergency down in Kentucky, they've had about 180 National Guard troops, all right, uh, help with the so-called evacuation, man. So just another, you know what I'm saying, justifiable reason to uh, military, you know, militarize, you know, this, this so-called nation, man, because this is a part of their agenda, man. Okay. Now, along with that judgment, you had, um, you know, at least, you know, 53, you know, at least uh, uh, 53 uh, uh, reportedly die, 53 people reportedly die. You know what I'm saying? Down there in Mexico, you know, uh, regarding that trailer road, that trailer road crash down in Mexico where they were blaming the so-called smugglers. But really, that was actively held by Shimei Shai, man. Okay, part of the terrible judgment because he is a terrible power, man. All right? And the fear, and it's a terrible thing to fall within the hands of the Lord. Okay? And these people that are winding up within these, you know, these, these uh, 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 you know, you know, positions of judgment are those who have not feared the held by Shimei Shai, who haven't even considered fearing the held by Shimei Shai for the most part, man. So along with that situation in Mexico, you had, you got the uh, the death toll, you know, at least, you know, at at least uh, 43 down in Indonesia after a volcano eruption, man. And that's a terrible way to die. See, being scorched to death. But I see how by Shemeshai. Okay. For it's a terrible thing to fall within his hands, like it says in Hebrews, the 10th chapter. Then you had a, a death toll down there in Kenya. Okay. In Kenya, Africa, you know, where at least... Uh, uh, the death toll is is at um, is at least twenty three after a bus heading to a wedding, you know, got swept up in a river down there, man. Okay, and then then the math, you know, and then uh, forty plus earthquakes reported a, a a day or two ago. 
And then now you have this situation, man. So it says, um, I jump it up here a little bit. It says, here's what you need to know. We need your prayers. Residents begin digging out and assessing the toll from tornadoes. And it says in the book of St. John, um, that how shy does not pray for the world, but rather the nation of Israel. Okay. The only world that matters to you, how about Shem Shai, man? Okay. In regards to the meaning of that word world in St. John 3 and 16, meaning harmonious arrangement or government. And that government, the how about Shem Shai, all right, is, is, is going, you know, well, Hamash Shekha Shai, okay, on, uh, on behalf of the command of Abanawi Yahweh is going to send his only begotten son, all right, to redeem this government, pursuing the Isaiah the ninth chapter. That does not pertain to the rest of the world, man. Because the world does not give a, the Lord does not give a damn about the world, man. Okay, because the world is is, is contaminated with with uh, wickedness, okay, by way of the deeds of the Gentiles, man. Uh, these 17 heathen nations. That's why, speaking of which, Indonesia, uh, the Elamites, <laughs> down there in Indonesia, stay getting jacked up, man. Okay, I've been doing lessons on them for years regards to these weather catastrophes, man. Okay, of uh, uh, the terrible judgment how by Shem and Shai, man. And I believe, you know, uh, uh, what Frederick contributes to that is the wicked deeds of their forefathers, man, on behalf of, um, you know, the, the medieval Persian Empire. You know what I'm saying? The Lord stay jacking them up. But hey, man, is it, this judgment is only going to intensify, man. So it says here, uh, and by the way, your, your, uh, your prayers are abomination, man. Okay. You could, you, a lot of you praying to Jesus and all kinds of wicked deities, mainly the top deity, uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus Christo, all right, Aesus Christos, going back to Serapis Christus, okay, on behalf of that wicked uh, Idumian Ptolemy, okay, setting up a, a, a image, you know what I'm saying, for him to be worshipped after uh, uh, Serapis Christus, man. Okay, that's what a lot of PPs people are praying to, man. Praying to dumb idols, man. That the, that the Lord will not give His glory over uh, to pursuing Isaiah forty-two and eight, man. Okay, and this further confirms that death is in the world, darkness pursuing uh, Job ten chapter, Psalm eighty-two and five, because it's a lack of truth that's being promoted here. Okay, by the, by the rulers of the darkness of this world and and and, and his constituents. So it says uh, at least seventy are dead in Kentucky in the most devastating tornado event in state history. At least six people died in after. An Amazon warehouse in Illinois took a direct hit. Storms kill at least four in Tennessee as winds exceed 80 miles per hour. One person is killed and two are injured in a Missouri town near St. Louis. Okay, Tennessee, a woman was pinned under a mobile home, man. So it's great devastation. Now, this is the part I want to bring out. Now, right down here, it says, uh, let, me, let, me, let me find it real quick. Okay, it can mention something key. All right. And one of these... Uh, one of these, one of these little paragraphs, okay. Something key that I want to bring out. Matter, matter of fact, the name might be up here a little bit. Let me scroll up a little bit. Um, yep, I think it's in this art. In this, uh, I believe it's yep right here. Um, let me see. Yep. This, the storms darkened immense funnel clouds that roared across the nighttime landscape, obliterated homes, churches, and businesses, set buildings on fire, and knocked a train within 28 empty rail cars from its tracks, leaving unearthly scenes of destruction. And why is it unearthly? Because how about Shemesh Shah is behind it. So we'll get the first precept. Second Ezra chapter 16. All right, starting in verse uh, 38. All right. Second Ezra. Chapter 16, all right, verse 38. And it reads, As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son, with two or three hours of her birth, great pains come past her womb, which pains, when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. Verse 39, here's the point. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. See that? And that's why in that article they mentioned unearthly destruction, because this is why, man, the destruction of the terrible judgment of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai. Okay, for lack of, you know, judgment be promoted here, man, uh, and, uh, righteously. Okay, Second Ezra 8, all right, verse 50. And it reads, For many great miseries shall be done to them that in the latter time shall dwell in the world, because they have walked in great pride. See, and that's what they promote here in America, Babylon the Great. Okay. The pride of life, the pride of the eyes, okay, which is all wicked. 
Okay, that's one of the six things the Heavenly Father hates, Christina, uh, Proverbs 6, chapter, man. You know, when people are looking for self-gratification, okay, you know, pushing that demigod spirit, that, that transhumanism spirit through the devices of the, of the devil. See, you know, uh, uploading selfies online and all this madness, man, all this confusion on behalf of these women and these simple niggas, you know what I'm saying? Worldly niggas, okay? And just, and just worldly people in general, man, okay? Let alone... The reprobates of our people. But jumping down to verse 56, here's a point. For when they had taken liberty, which is freedom, they despised the Most High. Thought scorn of his law and forsook his ways. So this is, the, this is the sentiment of the world, the mass of the world, who marvels after the dragon, pursuing Revelation 13 and 3. Well, wandering after, wandering and marveling after his, uh, uh, his standard, he, is, he has uh, established, all right, for, you know, for, for those to follow, you know, his, his, uh, his standard of living. All right, through, through this worldly uh, uh, sense, okay, to be a, a good corporate slave, pay your taxes and, and be happy about it, okay, where you would have nothing and uh, going to the, the theme of the World Economic Forum where you would have nothing and be happy about it. This is what they, 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 they uh, uh, have indoctrinated the world into believing, man, okay, to bow down before the wicked of, the, of, the, of this dragon system and be happy about it, okay, you know, you know within the affairs of this life, okay. And that's why there's so much death here, okay? Because of the overmuch liberty that people have been given, all right, to lack the fear of the righteous instruction of Yahweh by Shemesh Shai, okay? And that's why you know, these people, all right, are reaping what they sow, man, all right, from coast to coast. So I'm going to get the next precept. Um, it's like your book of Psalm, chapter 68. <laughs> Psalm, chapter 68, verse 35. And it reads, O Most High, thou art terrible out of thy holy places. The God of Israel is he that giveth strength and power unto his people. Blessed be the Most High. Okay, so the only ones who have a, 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 a you know, this, the only ones who have a shot or, all right, of, of, uh, of, of, of mercy from this terrible judgment, Yahweh by Shimei Shah is reigning from his heavenly places, okay, his holy places, okay, you know, you know, the, chiefly the, 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 the spirit realm. The third heavens that people ignorantly refer to as heaven is is the nation of Israel, man, because salvation is only for Israel, man, as well as repentance. OK, that's why you, you, you go into the judgment. OK, that is, uh, you know, transpiring. All right. Across the four corners, you know, affecting you, you, you nations, man, you heathen. OK. Now, because the Lord uh, does not, you know, the Lord does not delight. All right. And in, in uh, uh, uh you know, in your lives, man. Like it says in uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 22, it speaks about the uh, the lies of vanity, okay? The contrary to popular belief, the Lord, the Most High Yahweh, does not love everyone, man. And that's what this world is being referred to reminded of. Deuteronomy 7, 21, that shall not be affrighted at them, for the Lord Yahweh, thy power is among you, a mighty 